Hi everybody! Glad you're here with me today. It's a great Monday, isn't it? I'm glad it's Monday. How about you? Um, we, um, gosh, from here in Palm Desert, we had to just go and escape the heat. Um, it was just crazy hot here, still is. And so we went up the mountain with our camper and we had a great weekend and hopefully you had a a really fun weekend and got lots of rest and I'm just sort of jamming over here to some music I like. So if any of you are here um, for the first time please say me I'd love to see if you are here for the first time and um, if you'd like to share where you're from I'd love to hear that too and my name is um, Andrea and I blog over at Tabler Party of Two and I have to tell you, I'm super excited today because I'm getting my Lumi light. I'm supposed to be getting my Lumi light. And a Lumi light is actually an iPhone 6 case. I don't have the iPhone 6 quite yet. I'm about to get it. Anyway, it's a case that lights up, that lights up your face. Apparently it works really well for Periscope. And I'm really excited to get it because um, I did my first few scopes outside and honestly I was just like melting so then I started doing them here um, in the front of my house near a window and I have to tell you there's two downsides to that first of all I have this really cute little white Westie who's always trying to get in my lap while I'm sitting here talking to y'all and today I'm a little concerned that my Lumi light is going to arrive by UPS while I'm talking to you and if that happens I'll be jumping up and grabbing it but anyway the Lumi Light, I think it's L-U-M-E-E, -E, and you can get it at Amazon.com. And uh, anyway, I'll let you know how I like it once I use it. So again, my name's Andrea, and I blog at Tabler Party of Two, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some Twitter tips for bloggers. So if you know anyone that might be interested in this, I'd love for you to share. Just swipe to the right if you're on an iPhone and just scroll up a little bit, and you'll be able to share. Thanks for the hearts. Hearts show love. If you um, want to show me that something I'm sharing with you is helpful, just tap your screen to give hearts. That's always awesome. So I'm just going to jump right in to my tips today. Um, all right, so I've been on Twitter now for, well, I've been on it for many, many years, but I didn't know how to use it until about a year ago when I started blogging. And I've learned a lot in a year, and in that time I'm closing in on about 9,000 followers, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm excited about that. And I've learned along the way, like I'm sure you are too. And um, I just wanted to share some things that have really increased my engagement recently and increased my following. And um, really engagement is what I'm looking for. And so the first thing I've done recently, I should have done it a long, long time ago, way before I had, you know, close to 9,000 followers. Um, hi there, I can't see what your name is. Um, by the way, if you have a question, let me know. Um, and tell me your name on there because some of you have handles that aren't the same as your name. Um, so anyway, um, I just started using Twitter lists. Now I've known for a long time I ought to be using lists on Twitter. I wasn't positive why I should and quite frankly, um, when if you're a blogger you know what I'm talking about here. You're, you've got so much to do and so many different social media channels and things to keep up with that you know you can't do everything. So starting Twitter list was just not high on my list. Well, now that I have Twitter list, I'm so thankful. Um, here's why it's important to me to have the Twitter list. First of all, I can organize people I'm following into categories. And so, for instance, I have a category now for bloggers, social media marketers, smart, um, excuse me, passive income businesses, and um, a couple of other different ones. I also have a category for bloggers that I follow, meaning, you know, bloggers who, they just happen to be a blogger, I have them in one list. And then the bloggers that I intentionally try to interact with and engage with, I have them in a, a list called bloggers I follow. And what's really cool about having them in a list is this. Um, before I had the list, I would go into Twitter and I'm probably following, you know, 7,000, 8,000 people myself. And so everyone would just show up in my newsfeed and there was just so much there that I didn't really do a lot of engaging. I tried, I would retweet here and there. Well, now I can just click on the list and these are the people that I really like and care about. And I'll just go to the list that I've created and I can just see exactly what those people who I really care about have been posting. And then that way 
Um, I can learn about that topic if I want to for the day. If I really am wanting to um, find out what's new in the world of social media marketing, I can just go to that list and, and see what those experts have to say. And if I want to um, see what, what bloggers I follow have been posting that day, I go to that list. So it just helps me be more focused when I'm on Twitter. It sort of takes the clutter and the noise out of the whole thing. And let's see, the next thing I want to share, hi there Jody. thanks for being here today. Um, the next thing I want to share that I started doing a couple of months ago or so was whenever I do a blog post, I started using the WordPress plugin called Tweet This. It's really easy to use, you just um, you put in the plugin and then when you're doing your blog post, you just click on this little bird icon and you can, oh your clues, okay. Come back to this. I'm gonna come back in a few minutes for questions, so be sure to ask me that again. Um, you can copy and paste it to make it easy. All right, so anyway, um, what what Tweet This does is it, it puts um, a little bird icon on your blog post, and it'll I'll, I'll go in and copy and paste something that I'm hoping people might tweet from my post, and it puts it in a box, and the, the type is larger, and it says tweet this. So I've seen a lot more engagement from my blog post, people um, tweeting out what I've written. So that's awesome, and I highly recommend it, and it's free, so that's always cool. And then the um, third tip that I wanted to share today um, for bloggers involving um, Twitter is just how important it is to engage. And like I mentioned a few minutes ago, I've been engaging all along, but you know what? I, I know now I wasn't really engaging. And I'm still learning, and I know you guys are still learning too. Um, now I'm really engaging. I purposefully engage. I use those lists. So for instance, I told you I have a list called Bloggers I Follow. These are just people who I really like their stuff. Um, I've connected with them somehow, maybe on Facebook, or I've met them at a conference, or some of them are local bloggers here in the um, California desert area. And that way I can encourage them. Uh, I can be sure I'm retweeting their post and favoriting them. I just, I wanna encourage those that I love. And then the ones whose um, content I just really enjoy, I love just having them all in um, a place where I can retweet their work and um, I just love engaging that way. And then some other ways I've started engaging are, uh, I'll ask questions of experts. You know, you can't just call up an expert and ask a question anytime you want, but you can tweet them a question and guess what? They frequently will get back to you. Uh, great, and they'll, they'll answer your question. I've actually learned things that I didn't know because I just stepped out and said, hey, I'm gonna just ask that person who's the expert. And lo and behold, they answered. Um, also, another thing I've been doing to engage is I thank people. So whenever people um, favorite my tweets um, or if they retweet them, I go in and I hit the um, the button and I the button I can't think of the name of it right now. It's not the retweet button, but it's the little arrow back where you're commenting right back to them, and I tell them thank you, thank you for. Um, for retweeting my post. And uh, I've just already started forming relationships that way and loving this way of engaging on Twitter. So, okay, I know one of you had a question. I hope you'll ask me again because I was not able to read it. It was going up the page a little too fast, although I know it was about list. I think you said you were clueless about list. Um, but you know what, lists are easy. I think I'll do a blog post this week and share just how you do those lists because they're really easy to set up. It doesn't take much time and what you get is so valuable and I just love it. And I wanted to share also today that if you want more Twitter tips, especially if you're a beginner, I'd love for you to um, stop over at my blog. In fact, I wrote this out or typed this out. Hopefully you can see it. Um, go to Tabler Party of Two and it's Twitter tips for beginners. If you go to tablerpartyof2.com, Twitter tips for beginners, and you have to put little hyphens in between each of those words, 10 Twitter tips for beginners. Um, you'll pull up that blog post that I did, and I've got um, 10 different tips for you if you're new, because I know it's confusing, it can be hard, um, but you know, once you just dive in and start doing it, it's really not that hard, I promise. So 
Um, well, I'm just glad all of you are, are here today. And in case you popped in late, I know a few of you popped in after I got going. And my name's Andrea. I blog over at Tabler Party of Two. And um, I love just doing life and um, photographing it and sharing it and recipes and crafts and faith. Um, empty nest adventures and um, I particularly love to um, put my 25 years of marketing into use and I love um, blessing and encouraging other bloggers, newbies, or those who just want to go the next step in this journey called blogging. So thanks again for being here and have a super blessed Monday. See you again soon. Bye-bye.